Payne, and this is Dog News. Oh, hello. I'm Rutherford Fontaine here with Dog News for the third broadcast this week. Cause I know you can't get enough of me, baby. In other news today, LGNN News Network released their first video the other day. I'm sorry too. In this video, Cameron Mack released news that the Dog News Network had already previously released. And according to him, they bring the ruckus. Which has been informed to me by my superiors that ruckus is Latin for poor video editing. Consider this a formal declaration of war, LGNN. Bring it on. Now to more important matters. There's a couple of rumors circulating around this political atmosphere. Here to talk to me about those rumors is my lead political analyst, Craig. Oh, come on. They're never here. Hold on one second. They him piercing magically. I do do. I do do do. What the news? Good morning, Fontaine. How are you today? How the freaking news did you just do that? I walked, of course. I have these wonderful things we call legs. I hate you. So do I, sir. Would you care to share with us some of these rumors that have been circulating, Craig? Why, well, yes, I would, Mr. Montaigne, but only if you ask nicely. Pretty, pretty, please. Okay. First rumor would be that Kelsey, in the beginning of the school year, declared herself to be a Democrat, when she just recently accepted a nomination for Republican Vice President. Can I get some dramatic theme music? <laughs> Thank you. You're welcome. Alright. <laughs> Can I hear the second rumor that you have to share with us? Well, the second rumor would be that Vaughn Hilliard, a Democratic candidate for President, is speculating of nominating Joseph McClellan, who was once a Republican candidate for President, to be his Vice President on the ticket. Which is very interesting that he's already speculating a vice presidential nomination, considering how he hasn't even won the primary yet. Yes, he didn't have succeed in getting a two-thirds vote for a Democratic candidate, and thus he still has to beat up Sam Schleyer in the race for president. Very interesting. What do you think this could potentially have, effect-wise, on the candidacy for president? Well, Mr. Fontaine, if it is true that Bond is actually going to choose Joseph, Joseph Replogle as his vice president, he has the potential to lose many of his Democratic votes. Say the fact that I'm not entirely sure what would happen if we had a Republican and a Democrat on the same ticket. Say what happened before. That would be very, very weird. Alright, thank you for joining me, Craig. No, I don't, sir. My name's not Craig. I really don't care. Goodbye. <laughs> okay. Anyways, we have another special guest today. And by special, I mean someone that got cut out of the Democratic primary because they didn't get enough votes. Either way, it's still kind of a big deal for a news network. Here joining me to talk with me about the race thing, or whatever they seem to do that I'm so good at reporting at, is Christopher Klugman. Oh my god, someone's actually there this time. Alright, it's a pleasure to have you on the show. It's a uh, pleasure to be here, actually. Thank you. Uh, I have a few questions for you. One of them being, why do you feel that you lost? <laughs> why do I feel I lost? Wow. <laughs> That's an easy one. You could go with the first thing. Let's go with my speech, my nine minute droll of information. It's pretty bad. Yeah, everyone else prepared for two minutes, I prepared for nine. It was pretty intense. Plus, before that, I lost my speech, so that was all rambling. Yeah. But let's go to the next thing, which I think is the real reason I lost. Mm -hmm. My campaign video. Uh, it was that bad. First of all, you couldn't even hear what I said because I was so quiet, I mumbled those and then, you know, the rest was just scrolling and then, yeah, mm -hmm. I don't want to talk about it. Alright, well let's move on to the next question. My second question for you is, now that you're out of the race, what candidate do you plan to support? And try to keep it under nine minutes. I'll try. Well first, we're going to go to, the, I'm going to do the Joe Biden thing, because I'm not going to support anyone. I'm going to wait till it's all over because, one, I don't know the views on everyone's positions. I know, apparently, all their views on abortion. 
in gay marriage, but I don't know about the real things, so I'm gonna wait till I hear about them in the next mm -hmm. videos and all that. And then I might pick someone, or I might just wait. Mm -hmm. I'll mm -hmm. never know. Alright, and my last question might come a little bluntly, but how does it feel to be a loser? Oh, being a loser feels great, knowing that you lost in fourth place with only 16 votes. Yep, that's lovely. I'm sure being a loser is nice. Yeah. Anyway, it was nice having you on the show. Nice to be here. You can let go. I need more screen time. Be gone. Oh. All right, there you heard it. Christopher Klugman saying how great it feels to be a loser. I personally don't know what it feels like myself, but I'm sure it's very nice and very blissful. I'm Rutherford Fontaine from Dog News, keeping you informed on news stuff. I don't know. I, I don't even get paid for this kind of thing. Thank you and good night. Mm -hmm.